Hello Disney fans, my name is Haley, and welcome to a room cleaning and room tour video. It is more just like a daily vlog thing. I have had so much stuff going on, like so much stuff going on. I feel so terrible. I have not been as active on TikTok, on Instagram as I normally like to be, or even replying to comments. I've been a few days behind sometimes. I really apologize for that, but I greatly appreciate all of your understanding. As mentioned previously, I am a senior this year. I will be graduating this year, so all of these events, all of these things, hanging out with friends before, you know, it's all over. There's just so, so much going on. So today is a day where I have a chance to reorganize my room. As mentioned previously, I have my May the 4th stuff up. I can have that video linked down below if you'd like to see me like redo my room for that. Today's a little bit of a quicker cleaning. I'm just taking the Star Wars stuff down and I'm switching it all to Walt Disney World theme because for the summertime I normally like to do like travel, fun, Disney parks theme. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Just cleaning some things up. I'm going to be showing you some things gonna be some time lapses of me cleaning and then I'll share like the final tour kind of as we go. Some tips, some more mainly just like as I said day in the life things just because like <laughs> the past like three days I've been up till like after one in the morning so I'm pretty tired. <laughs> We're doing okay <laughs> but there's so much coming up still. Like there's still so many things in the coming weeks that like it's overwhelming, but it's exciting because they're all fun things that are going to be happening. But one thing I mainly wanted to emphasize there was, like, I still want to keep doing YouTube videos. Like, I still, I've been pushing myself for six years, like, doing videos every single week. Last year was every single day. I know I just bumped it down to three days a week. But to be honest, just straight up honesty here, there's really nothing going on as far as Disney goes. I love to share the newest Disney merchandise and things, but there really isn't anything. There's nothing new. There's no Disney store to go to anymore. Target and Walmart, I mean, we were just there and there really isn't anything new to show, to share, to make videos on. And I don't want to make videos just to make videos. Like, you know, like I don't want it to be a forced feeling. I want to do them for fun, sharing the newest things, and right now there just isn't much. A lot of things are reopening up, you know, it's almost summer, people are outside enjoying this time with their friends, end of the school year, all of those things that not many people are like on YouTube right now either. So I'm considering bumping down to two days a week just for the time being June. I'm going on senior trips, trips with my family, I have all these things with my friends, I have graduations, I have parties and all those things with like family and I want to be in the moment and enjoy those things. Like I know this will for sure be a year I look back on one day and would want to remember being in the moment for and not staying up super late trying to just think of a random video to post that really isn't that informative or as fun because it feels like it's just like a forced thing I have to do like I have to do it and none of the videos I've done have been like that but some of the days whenever I do film it just feels like oh I have to do this right now because I don't have time otherwise and it's just I don't feel like in the moment or feel like myself enough to do it and I don't want to like do that to you guys. I want to like be that happy person doing these things and you may have noticed in some videos like kind of recently um it was my May the 4th haul specifically um the beginning of the video I literally had tears in my eyes. I was literally crying 10 minutes before I filmed that video because I was so stressed so overwhelmed with everything going on and just exhausted and all the things like it was just a lot going on that day i have lots of big projects and finals to turn in right now which is there's so much going on and i was just like you know just kind of lost it for a second which is totally real that totally happens and yes i could have regrouped myself more or waited to do that video another time but i wanted to show that like that happens 
that's real that's what my life is right now and like I want to be true to that I don't like to be fake on here I don't like to be fake in general like I just don't think that's who I am and I don't want to do that to others so that's why I'm being real talk right now I just I want to make sure that I'm doing videos I am proud of and that make others happy and like I said that video where I was a little bit upset I just wanted people to know like I have stuff going on too you know we all need a break to talk about Disney to think of something happy to think of something magical to think of the future to like I don't whatever it may be I that's why I still filmed that day even though I was upset or I was stressed or anxious or whatever it was I wanted to show like that that's real and how much Disney helps me like just forget about that for a moment because when I was filming it I wasn't thinking about what was making me upset earlier I was just focusing on like look at these awesome Disney things I got like that's what makes me happy so that's why I was doing it so back to the video schedule, like I said, I want to do the videos that make me happy, that I am proud of, that I can like spend the time on, and right now I just don't have the time to do that. Just for these months, the summer, we'll be fine, we'll be back, you know, we'll be doing all the fun things. It's just these next few weeks, this next month is just, I think, the busiest I've been since I've been on YouTube, and six years on YouTube posting every single week is a lot and I've never given like a break for myself. I always, you know, reach to make other people happy and don't think about myself always at first. So some point in June, I haven't decided yet, but in an upcoming video, I'm, I'm like kind of crying right now because it's just a lot. I am gonna take a week off. I think I've made it to that point where I should just because you know and it's just a reminder to you to take a screen break take a minute enjoy time with your family your friends go outside and just like love life you know like even if it's just not the best situation maybe you're in right now just think of something that makes you smile put on a movie and just take a deep breath and relax like as I mentioned I'm going on a family trip and stuff and I'm looking forward to just in a way not doing anything and just relaxing because a lot of the family trips I've went on that like I haven't mentioned over the course of me doing YouTube is like us going to the beach and just doing family things but I'd be posting videos while I was there I'd be working on things I'd be editing while we were traveling and stuff which is totally fine love doing it but I think it'd be good for myself to I don't know just take a minute you know come back refreshed ready to go i love this channel so much i put see why i'm crying i put so much time into it that like taking a break like kind of hurts me but i feel like it'd be good for me to just one week no videos for one week all of us just need to go enjoy the sun the the company the family the friends the movies the snacks whatever it is just you know take a day remember you know all of those important things in life so little heart to heart here to, to get us off I apologize for that but I just want you guys to know where I'm at at this point and I know you guys are so sweet so supportive your messages your dms your comments and it makes me so incredibly happy I I don't know how to express to you how much that means to me I just I'm so glad we have this and that's why I want to keep doing it and it's always good to take a break and refresh and come back and enjoy the moments the time all those things and I've been looking forward to graduating for so long school has not been the time for me it just hasn't so this is a moment that like it's just like a, such a goal, such an accomplishment. It's such a weird feeling like to be done with this, but I'm so excited for the next step of my life because Disney has always been the goal. So knowing I am just that much closer, like that's a huge chunk out of the way of this uphill climb and all of those things. So that's just, that's why like, I really want to enjoy this because like, I'm getting really close and like, that blows my mind like I don't even know what to say anymore but in summary I appreciate all of your support I think 
starting next week, which will be June already, I'm gonna be bumping down to two videos a week and I will keep you posted on what week I'm taking off. That's just for the month of June. We'll be back summer gonna be so fun we'll have birthday content we'll have trip content we'll have so so many fun things i have so many fun things in the works that i haven't shared with you yet i'll be sharing some more life things soon as well i think once the graduation things are over i can kind of share some more life things with you and some other things that have been going on on top of some of the things i just mentioned like it is just i've been pushed to the max these past few months that I can't believe like the sun's out and this moment's here. So I'm so excited to do my room today. I apologize literally the majority of this video is me talking, but I appreciate you listening. I appreciate you staying on, staying, watching, hanging out, all of those things is much, much appreciated. So stay tuned for those updates. I'll probably post them in the community tab over on Instagram, all those things, and I'll hopefully be able to mention them in a video prior as well. Just stay tuned. So. The schedule will be back, if you've been with this channel for a while, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I know that is so confusing because that has not been the days that I have been posting because I've been doing three days and stuff, but back to the original channel days, it was always Tuesdays and Thursdays. So that's where we're at. I'm so sorry, it's just a lot of confusion right now, but trust me, we'll be back to like a standard schedule to just for the month of June. Enjoy summer, guys. Enjoy family time all of those things so i gotta get started on this display as i said i'm taking the star wars stuff down yesterday or i organized my new emos and i got many questions about some of the recent ones that i have gotten which are max and pluto i got some questions asking if you can put outfits on them so i did this little footage yesterday and you actually can which i thought was really really fun they look great so that's something to note as i said i'm going back to like walt disney world theme disney parks theme so all of my new emos are just in their standard outfits right now they're classic character outfits and i put them all in these little party hats i got on clearance and they look so fun because they're all celebrating and mickey and minnie are in their little graduation outfits and i can have that video linked down below on where i got those clothes from so magical i'm also gonna be doing a graduation display here too because i have lots of fun disney items so fun times all around again thank you so much for listening let's get into the time lapse Once again, there is a mess going. I kind of stopped recording for a few min moments because I was in the closet digging out all of those bins. So the problem with doing it this way is like I'm not taking everything out. I'm not switching the entire display. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I'm trying to like leave some things up and I know what I'm leaving up. I specifically did the Vinylmations and Mystery Minis last time that I'm just switching, I'm switching the front row with the second row so then all the theming is the same so i have to do all those i'll probably end up doing those tomorrow or those will be like the last thing i do because that's like super easy switch right now the main concern is like these little shelves and these bigger shelves i have an idea in my head of what i want it to be but the more merchandise i pull out it's like i kind of want to put that up too <laughs> so kind of trying to figure out how 
I want to do this. As I said, I'm doing Disney World. I did find some really cool Disneyland things, and I also remembered Avengers Campus opens so very soon. So I got some of my Avengers stuff out, got some of the Disneyland stuff out, figured we'll do parks. It's mainly Disney World, but some of the Disneyland stuff, like the Disneyland 65th Mystery Minis, where they're just the attractions, like all of those are at Disney World too. So doesn't really matter like what it is. It's Disney parks, so that's fine. I love looking at all this stuff. This is one of my favorite displays to do is anything Disney parks related. All the popcorn buckets, it's so hard to choose from, but seeing all of the merchandise from the different resorts and from the different parks and from the different rides, there's so many memories like when I got each of those things that that's such a cool thing to look back on. So this time lapse might also jump around too just because I'm trying to focus on like getting this figured out. It is three o'clock right now. So trying to get like majority of this done before dinner time. I think that's the best idea because then I'll have to edit this. <laughs> I pulled the camera out to say those things but I also, what I meant to also mention was this stuff I recently got as a gift. Um, these things are so cool and since they're new for my collection I want to also find a place for them so I'm most likely just gonna mix them with like the old Disney World stuff I have I normally do those on like the bottom shelves here so we have this little retro game piece check out how like worn it is and the character styles how cool is that Mickey Mouse Club check out the back like that is so neat to me just how like old it is I love it so cool so neat old game so I'm gonna prop that up probably in the back and then in front of that I also got this Mickey Mouse films Walt Disney's silly symphony cartoons it's this like old cardboard box that won't focus on the camera for some reason and it's like pretty beat up but that's what's so cool about it is how old this is it says Walt Disney Productions on it Hollywood Film Enterprises Hollywood California so this is like original stuff here it's an old I don't want to like touch it because I don't know it's an old film reel with the cartoons on it how cool is that? I think this is so neat. What a cool, unique, special item to have. So I'm going to put this in the display as well. So we're mixing in those two new things into just to the Disney World stuff. They'll kind of be in the back for now, but I'll eventually move them forward. I'm not doing like any Pixar stuff this time though, because later in the summer, um, in July, I'll do like birthday stuff with kind of like continued parks. I'll like refresh the parks. And then August and like September is mainly when I do Pixar. So that's the plan, <laughs> in case you were wondering. <laughs> day. I was able to finish everything yesterday. After I filmed that last clip I basically stopped recording just because there was stuff everywhere and I was just like I got like in the zone to focus to get it done so that was just the main plan. Nothing else really happened but I'm gonna show you the display now and kind of go over like what's going on. Look I still look like a mess <laughs> and it's the next day. Anyway I think it turned out really cute. It all worked out. I love this park vibe going on here. Oh, I actually never switched the Vinylmations and Mystery Minis, but I'll have to do that here when I'm done filming this. But I'm actually going to turn all the way over here at the door for a moment. The first shelf I switched was this one here, which was Flower and Garden. I just moved it over to my desk area. So I put these two water bottles in there. These are from Food and Wine, but Flower and Garden is still going on. So I'm kind of just kind of keeping that going. <laughs> 
And then I also have my new Sorcerer Mickey Jumbo Funko Pop fits in there beautifully, so he's kind of helping create some magic here as well. Still have the park's little inspired e travel shelf down there. And then above that, kept all of this the same, just added some little Grogu's over here, looking fabulous. I moved the Most Magical Place on Earth ears up there instead of the R2-D2 ones. You guys saw me switch that just to kind of add the magic, the gold, the graduation, all of those things. I also put up some more keys and I was getting some comments saying that the sun is going to fade. The keys, as you can see, I don't always pull my blind up all the way and the highest I do it is probably like to here just so it doesn't fade any of the keys or the tags or anything like that. So I put my princess one up here, moved the Star Wars ones back up here, and added strings to the other Star Wars ones I got recently. So those are all of the keys that hang, are there. I don't know what I'm going to do about um, getting another one of those, or run to see medals. I don't know where I'm gonna put the other three that I'll be earning here over the summer. I did start putting my box ones up here, which I think is the new plan, because this area is all full now. This stayed the same. Oh, also Kylo is joining me. This is what... This is... <laughs> This is what he likes to do. He likes to look out the window and just be cute with all of the plush. It is so very adorable and I think he loves it. He loves it a lot. <laughs> Over here are some more of the boxed keys. Again, I can't fit any more in there. Left the tram on the very, very top. So I think that's that's the plan with that area. And if you're watching this video the day that I post it, I believe tomorrow... Or maybe today. Oh, today two more keys come out. The 28th is the Corella key. And some other keys have come out. Some Marvel box mystery ones have come out. There's a lot going on. I haven't picked up any recently, but I hope to get some of those. Oh, the Small World one also comes out the 28th. So lots of fun things going on there. Now over on this side, this dresser, I just have some of my new emos. And my original plan was to have none of them over here and to have them all scattered all about all of these areas because they look like the characters that you would meet in the park in a way but instead that really wasn't working out i still have this hub grass kind of going over here it looks like they're enjoying the castle i was like okay well this will just have to do so we have some characters enjoying some different activities like shopping Kind of enjoying like little fireworks and things. We got the trash cans, the bench, Pluto helping out some photo pass. We have Donald and Daisy enjoying some popcorn from the little machine back there. Max over here is collecting stickers, maybe grabbing some Goofy's Candy Company candy, helping out his dad there. We also have some of my magic bands, a magic band box, and then that little popcorn display from the previous display. I also put my balloon ears up from Loungefly, just to kind of go along with the celebrate type theme. Above that, I haven't been able to put this popcorn bucket out for a while, but it's mine train, so we kind of have fantasy land going on here. I might hang some postcards here on the side because it looks a little bit empty but I did put some confettis all around most of the confettis are all like rainbow spread around just because they're like celebrating just confetti everywhere and then above that we have my little Disneyland tribute specifically to Avengers Campus I just have some of my Marvel things I don't have too many Marvel things but that's about it as I mentioned before I hope to get some more of the Funko Pops, like I'd like to get each Avenger in its Funko Pop form, but I have <laughs> Rocket over there, and I also have the Collector um, Infinity War Spider-Man and Endgame Tony Stark. So those are, oh, I also have Groot right there as well. So looking to pick up more of those in the future. I also did not show my closet door because... We have some countdowns going on over there, and that's surprises, but I'm sure you guys can already figure out what's going on. I still have that Tokyo Disney bag there, though. Didn't change anything about the pins. I just have all my newest pins laying around here on the bottom, chilling. Have some other little accessories there I still need to put away. And then for the display case, here up top I have my Skyliner items. We enjoy that very much. All of the different ride vehicles and things are so much fun. 
So you have all of those enjoying their time up there. And then I'm going to open up this case so you can see real quick. This is a little tribute to, again, the Skyliner, so it kind of continues down. Also, Hollywood Studios and Epcot, because that is where the Skyliner goes to. So we have those kind of traveling down. There are the popcorn bucket, the sign, some Galaxy's Edge merchandise, just kind of representing those two parks and Goofy enjoying a churro there, <laughs> just kind of adding in some of the new emos. And then down below that, we have my graduation shelf. And we have the little year invited postcard, the ears, the plush, the new emos dressed in their graduation outfits. We have the snow globe there, we have a little Skyliner bucket, the key, some cute little like notebooks and things that I'm celebrating stuff. I think this turned out really, really cute. And they're also holding their little buttons, their little diplomas and all of that. I had to pause filming for a second because I had to sign on to a meeting <laughs> real quick. Um, I look over when I finished and um, this little guy was dreaming. Sound asleep. Oh, see this is like his spot. While I'm doing school or editing or something, this is where he is. Living the dream. Right here. And he ends up moving the plush around. <laughs> I have to put him all back. Oh. Good morning. I'm sorry for disturbing you. Back to the display, right below that, I just moved up this bottom shelf, if you guys remember seeing it from last time, so it's mainly starting to focus on the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World, so I moved all of those up, and then as mentioned before, I got some new, like, retro toys and things, so this is just a more retro specific shelf mainly focused towards the toys but also with some park things in there just to better tie in the theme and to start getting ready for the 50th and if i turn here to the left on the desk didn't really change anything down here i did put the mickey with the balloons right there and then we have some wishables some pops some celebrating characters the rainbow confetti is just all celebrating the different events and like I said I need to switch just this back row I'm sorry the second row with the current front row so I'm just going to move some of the Star Wars ones back we have a lot of the princesses and stuff for the park probably leave some of the Star Wars ones up move some Pixar like summary ones forward and all of that this is the new flower and garden shelf which is pretty similar to what it was last time but it looks so fun and they have some more wishables below that again just celebrating everything some cute little flowers here celebrating everything <laughs> over here's just some like cards i've gotten recently and wishables and cookie jars nothing has really changed yet there still on the may calendar for a moment still got those keychains which i'll move when i flip it to june but i love I love June's picture, so that is really, really awesome. The Skyliner spaceship Earth looking so very, very good. Over this way, didn't really change anything, just like cleaned up a bunch of stuff. <laughs> and then over here, I actually added a basket to just put like hair things in, just to help to cl clean it up a little bit more and make it look really nice. I think it turned out, again, so very good. I think it's so beautiful so much fun it's a lot of my favorite things all about and I love the graduation shelf I love all of the park shelves I like all the Skyliner stuff the monorail stuff let me know in the comments 
what shelf, what display is your favorite. I hope you all have a wonderful Friday. Thank you again for all of your understanding. Have a great weekend and remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy and I will see you all on Tuesday. Bye!